Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. Okay, um, assuming you have done everything and now we are ready to start building our application. So the first thing we are going to do is go to our assets and I'm going to import my pictures here. So open your coffee assets file, select everything but the menu.swift file, drag and drop them here. Close the assets and just get back to our project here. So we have some different coffee images here, as you can see, they have names, which we're going to use to get these images. Okay, the what I wanted to start with is just let me show you the ready file here, our ready project. So once you open your uh, project, you are going to see the list of all drinks we have here. So we have cold drinks, filtered drinks, hot drinks, and each one is scrollable. So you can see different ones here. So in order to create this menu, we are going to create a drink object, which uh, can be basically coffee, tea, juice, or anything else. And once we create the menu so we can work with it, we are going to create a visual, uh, the user interface as well. So let's um, select our content view file. I'm going to close the canvas here because I'm not going to need it. Um, just click on any of the files, command N to create a new file. And this is going to be a Swift file. Click next. And I'm going to call this string. I'm, uh, I'm calling this drinks, not coffee, because it's something more generic than the coffee. Um, so let's, uh, let's import Swift UI. And then we're going to create a struct. And I'm going to call my drink. This is going to be the model of our drink object. And my drink is going to conform to some protocols. We, the first one is identifiable. And also hashable. So what uh, identifiable is for every item for our uh, Swift UI to be able to work with it, we are going to have a unique ID. So as soon as we put uh, our identifiable there, click fix, it says that it requires a variable with ID, which is going to be unique so that our drink object can be identified by this unique ID. So uh, once you have var ID, this is going to be a type of string. And then our drink is going to have a name, which is a string as well. And then say var image name. This is going to be string as well. And then our drink is going to have a category. I'm going to put it string for now, but then we are going to create a specific category for our drinks, which is, uh, in my case, this is actually a cold, a filtered, or a hot. So um, let's create a description. So we say var description. And this is a string as well. And finally, each um, drink should have a price and the price is going to be double. Okay, so uh, we have our drink object here created. Let me just get rid of the empty space. The only thing, the category, I'm going to create a enum here. And this is going to be called category. And this is going to be uh, conforming to string, case, terrible, Codable and hashable. 
Okay, so our category is going to have three cases. Case hot, case cold, and case filtered. All right, so we have all these three cases in our category. And now in my uh, category here, I'm going to change it to be type of category instead of just a string. So once we, uh, we create our drink, we can just set a category and it's going to be category dot hot dot cold or dot filter. Okay. And here at the end, I'm going to create this uh, array with our dummy objects. So let's, uh, let's open our coffee assets again, open my menu dot Swift, and I'm going to select everything. Let's close this. I'm going to paste it right here. So it's going to be a drink data. And then what we are doing here is basically creating a new instance of our drink. So I could say like uh, drink. And then if I open the parentheses, hit enter, I could fill this up uh, manually. The ID we are going to use UUID, which uh, will automatically generate a unique identifier for our uh, project and then the name for example it goes like espresso image name I'm putting espresso and then we have the category which is say category dot hot in this case because these are the hot drinks and the description I just get something from uh, web what espresso is about and then the price just put some double there all right so this is just the ready uh, instances of our drink that we just created so we are going to use this array to save all this dummy information, which is basically our menu into Firebase. So um, make sure when you are creating this, and if you are using a different image assets, that your image names match the one you put here as image name. Otherwise it's not going to find your image there. So we have like five of each drinks, four or five of each type of drink. And this is going to be our menu. So in order uh, for us to save this information into Firebase, we are going to create a function for that. So before we can save a drink object into Firebase, we can save only like JSON like data into our Firebase. So we need to convert this drink object into a dictionary, which is key value pairs. For example, our ID is going to be equals drink.id, our uh, name is going to be equals drink.name, etc. So in order to do that, in our next lecture, we are going to create some keys that are going to be saved so we don't have to type every time, for example, ID or name or image name, because if you save something under image name and then you try to get it back and have a typo in image name, and you are not going to get your value pack because we are going to search for specific keys. And if you are uh, typing the key incorrectly, it's going to return a nil and you are not going to receive your data. So for this reason, you are going to create some constants that we just can type and autocomplete so we can uh, get our information, save and retrieve it correctly.